Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Christelle Martinet. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a pleasure to be with you tonight. And before we start, I want to show you I have I have my sari on and my bindi. And um, I want to welcome in the session by doing a little bit of chimes. Okay, so you know that I put up a, se a section in my community. I opened for questions this week, and um, I had 99 questions before I closed it this morning. So I have eight pages of questions. What I'm going to do now is to put them on the screen, and as we go through them, I try to clean out the questions that were repetitive. So. I'm hoping this way to get all of your questions and then come back to you and ask um, ask the, the chat. We'll see the chat if I'm still alive. <laughs> all right, so let me start by showing you those questions, showing you the questions. All right, let's take a look at the top. It says, uh, Divya, did you meet Sushant or Sri Devi? Of course, of course, we are all here. We heard rumors about your presence on the sets of Lad Ladla. Was that you? No, I am sorry to say it was not me. Did Sri Devi do anything to get that role? Yes, she did. But I am not sure what you ask me. If you ask me, did she play dirty? The answer is no. Okay, this is, um, it's a very, very warm, it's a very warm atmosphere, um, very warm, very, um, very enveloping. There's like velvet in the air here. There's like velvet. And um, I understand that she died when she was very young. Let's go through the questions again. Can you describe the few moments after entering the afterlife? Life? Is it confusing at first? It is only confusing between the moment you pass if you do not cross over to the astral planes. If you are caught in perispace, then it is confusing. But within seconds, the soul is gone and leaves the body. Can we know about the promises or contract that we made with the Creator before coming to the earth? If yes, how? You cannot know if you don't know. It is a matter of meditation and asking your guides. Your soul directly has requested what kinds of experiences you want. It is the only way to find out by meditation and prayer, unless you go get consultancy through a soul worker. Okay, what is the state of a soul who departs sooner than its natural time? What did you feel when you suddenly were forced to leave your body? Have you incarnated, if yes, where and who? There is no natural time. Any time is a time for you to pass. I did not feel anything. Yes, I have 
incarnated in an Asian country that I do not want to name. I am a female this life too. Okay, as I go down, I'll push the paper at the top so you can read it. Will having too many sexual partners have an effect on the process of reincarnation? What are the repercussions one has to face for such sinful activities? Thank you, Christo. I am not joking when I say that a person with many different sexual partners in one way is a lucky person. They, this is not a sinful activity, but in your mind, according to your culture and your moral framework, it may be for you. Okay. I just feel that her husband might be indirectly involved. No, he is not. I just feel... Dear, dear Divya, what was the reason for your sudden and tragic passing? Was it accidental, suicide, or murder? I'm so grateful. Thank you, and thank you for your support. It was not accidental, and it was not suicide. It was murder. Please tell Divya that we love her and miss her a lot. I wonder what were the lessons that she learned acting in films across many languages in India. I learned that there is just one universal language, and that is the language of love. Working in many languages has a positive aspect for us. It opens our mind and broadens our perspective, but Different languages also divide people. Uh, greetings, Christelle. Please tell Divya that we love her and miss her a lot. I wonder what were the... Oh, we just did that. I'm sorry. What all have you done or are doing as a soul or spirit energy after your death? We've answered that. This other question is, um, is it true twin flames ascended for spiritual mission on earth for a biggest shift transformation do twin flames go is twin the twin con is the twin flame concept the same there it is a little loud, longer all right a little wider is oh, gee, i'm so sorry let's see if i can get that um back on track because there you go Okay. Okay, here you go. I'm looking at the rest of that question. Okay, the, the twin flames um, are sending. Let me see if Divya at least understood the question because I had only half of the question. It is very simple. Twin flames is a notion that man has concocted. It is the idea that there is only one person incarnated or only one soul incarnated on the earth for you. This can be true in part, but there are so many soul mates Twin flames do not ascend together. They live independent lives. And it is 
in many ways a fallacy. Their mission is to be together, but they are two different people. Okay. Are you happy, Divya? What are your wish, any wishes you have left unfulfilled? Are you going to come back to finish them? There is joy in my soul. And I have reincarnated to learn more lessons in the form of experiences. Okay. Dear Divya, I hope your soul healed from the last moment you lived on earth. I would like to ask you, how can we, during our time on earth, drinking some water, make sure that our soul distance itself from the events that are happening and not get affected by it? It is not possible to avoid negative occurrences. It is part of life that we have both positive and negative emotional experiences. You can learn to recognize them and counter them, of course, through your beliefs, prayers, and thoughts, chanting over and over again has been said to raise your soul's vibrational rate. Humming, making sounds with your lips and your throat is what I mean. Is it true that once we die, all our ancestors will be waiting for our arrival? Yes and no, not all. Some will be there, but not all. Don't expect this because souls have other purposes and will not be there for you the way you completely think. Okay. Uh, was your marriage also the part of conspiracy against your life? No, it wasn't. Not at all. Hello, do spirits listen to us? Can we really understand why, uh, understand they are connecting or it's our feeling which wishes so and feels so like that? That makes us feel it. What is the difference between the two? No, there is no difference. Spirits come to you, and if you feel it and believe it, it is as you are thinking. I want you to think about hypnosis, and when your body and mind are in another plane, you are awake and you feel as if you make it happen, but not controlling it. This is how it works. Okay, the next is, will we ever get back our normal life post-corona? If yes, when will it happen? No, I am sorry to say, the past is in the past. Embracing the new present is what I ask of you as an intelligent way to adapt. The world has changed and will again change. You need to change. Divya, does Bhakvati listen to us all? Yes, 
yes only to those who speak to Bhagavati. Not all people do. When you think of lords, gods, gurus, and spirit lords, or any name you call them, you must understand every one has their own, and they listen to their own, their own energy. Okay. Uh, why don't spirits ever reveal... I'm going to need a glass of water. Why don't spirits ever reveal who murdered them? It is one thing to say you were murdered and you can point to an, a trend or a group or give the direction where to look. We do not give names ever because it is not our responsibility and our purpose. Man has a purpose through the laws he has created and man and women have to follow those laws, not us. Okay. Um, would you be able to share some insight on healing from Dimension 22 and more? And how could I download such learnings and share with the world? Yes, it is a high level, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, 28 and higher. It is is a gift you are given that you can refine through, again, chanting, invocations, praying, and listening. You don't download learnings. You listen and hear truths. You can share what you learn when you feel you have learned. Okay. Again, this has been um, reincarnation. Has We t said that she was. Explain the process of reincarnation. Yes. Listen to me when I say that before I passed, my soul knew it would have reincarnated again. Because our soul is the energy that decides. Of course, this decision is made with other energies at higher levels, at higher realms. But before the soul passes, it knows. And this is why I need to stress that we, when we pass, are at peace unless we remain in the peri-spiritual space. Okay, get to the page. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. The overlay. Okay, here we go. Um, get to the top of the page. We're at page three. Um, I have a question. When a person leaves our world, does he attain a form of energy? We said this. She just mentioned that. How do you communicate with them? Is it a language we speak in? I ask this since English may not be, okay, the language that this uh, Asian continent. I am telling you through Christelle, that language is 
a decision made on earth as a form of dis division. When you pass, the spirit world has no language. If a guide, a consultant, a channeler or medium listens, they listen to the language they understand. Okay, let me draw, uh, get into this just for a moment um, to answer uh, very briefly. When, um, when I first started channeling years and years ago, I was given message that I didn't understand. And uh, then my guides made me understand that it was Swahili, Swahili. So I learned about three or four words. And then I, through that, it went to another language. It went to Japanese. It went to, um, it was a process that took about two or three years. And then I ended up learning uh, uh, German, for example. I started learning German because the German was coming in a lot. Um, but then I kindly asked because I realized that I was able to ask to give me messages in a language that I know. And that's how it works. Let me go back to the questions. All right. What can we do to progress spiritually? How, can, oh, how do we know the amount of work we need to do to be one with the Creator? Prayer. Speak to your Lord. You are one with the Creator now. You don't realize this. God is in you. We have part of God in us. There is a part of us that is divine. It is the divine presence. We don't know that on earth. But when you pass, you will understand. Okay. Were you really having drinking issues? And when were you depressed at the time, as some people say, you were too young. Is it true that you were married? Yes, I was married. No, I did not have drinking issues. Of course, I drank at parties. I did not take drugs. And no, I was not depressed. Okay. Oh, I keep doing that. My program, sorry, keeps going off of the, off of the, the um, screen. Now I lost it. Here we go. Now I lost it. There it is. All right. Now this was, okay, getting to four again. Ah, oh, there we are. Now let me open it up so I can see it. I hear people coming in and asking questions. Just remember, most of those questions are already answered. Okay. Divya, did you, uh, you used to love small children as a, a lot, as you used to take them to your husband's shop to get toys, but you passed away before becoming a mother. Do you regret for that? And if yes, then what is God's plan for you? I died with no regrets. I was not pregnant, as many people said. I wanted to relive another life to learn how to have what I wanted. I was young, but in that life, I spiritually progressed and learned much more than I expected. Where did I learn? It will surprise you that I learned from every 
person I met. And the farther that person was from my culture, the more I learned. Okay. And Nita Lula and her husband Shyam Lula were present at your home when you fell down the balcony from the balcony. She was not, she was not, she had not fallen. She already said it was an it was a murder. Someone killed her. Someone pushed her. They pushed you from the balcony, or was it an accidental fall? We already answered that. And what about your maid? Amrita, even she was there, but you died after one month of your death, but, but died after one month of your death. Was she also murdered, Amrita? Yes, she was. She was murdered because she knew who had killed me. Wow. Wow. Please ask Divya whether there is a way to know the purpose of one's life during the current life. If yes, how can we do that? Can we crack the signs? Um, meeting, okay. And can we, um, uh, and our lives for whom we were supposed to meet during our life and positive and negative karma. All right. Now, here is another question that I already answered. Please listen to my answers. The purpose is in your soul. You need to listen to your soul. No one listens to their own soul. They look outside and above and meditate looking for places to get answers. But remember, Think, believe, and listen. You will understand. Dear Divya, did you um, really accidentally fall? No, you were pushed. She was pushed and she responded to that. Let's get to... Ah, I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. How could I do that? What? There it is. It's coming. Okay. All right. How can one astral travel? Should we concentrate? Thank you. Seriously, you need to concentrate. Yes, but seriously concentrate and travel. Think of yourself as being light. Your legs, your arms, your body, your mind. Remember lightness. Okay, just going to take a break from that and drink some water. I need a break. This is one after another, very, very fast. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. Um, I went to India three years, well, before COVID, and uh, to a wedding, a friend of mine invited me. And, um, and at that time, I was able to have, uh, be able to, get Indian clothes because I was felt out of, you know, out of context. And it was there that for the wedding, I had this uh, um, sari made for, for me. And I thought to myself, and I wore it twice, and I thought, will I ever wear it again? Will I ever wear it again? And yes, I will wear it again. Now, let me get back to the questions. Um, how can we communicate with the angels and get answers from them? How do we know that we are being heard? You are always heard. You need to remember that. Always. Just speak and listen. The next question asks, what happens if there is accidental death or a murder? What happens if the soul is disembodied before time due to any reason? A body is a body. You die, your body is material. The soul is energy. It leaves the body. I thought you knew this already. 
I guess she's she's blaming us. She's telling us, what's the matter with you? Don't you know that? <laughs> Divya, did you at any point suspect there was a threat to your life? Oh, yes. She's saying, oh, it's so loud. Oh, yes. I knew. I knew that evening would be fatal for me. But I was ready to go. Dear soul, can you tell me, tell, tell me this? If a person died many years ago, is it still possible to speak to their soul even if they are reincarnated? Um, and for uh, Christelle Martinet, how can I have a one-to-one -one session on with you? Uh, you will see at the top uh, when I get rid of this page there's my website and uh you can go there and you can write to me and um i will answer you and you can order any services there so if they are reincarnated you are speaking to me i am reincarnated time is of no essence Yes, it is possible. Okay, what's your thoughts about your husband? Do you wish him well? Yes, we were in love. Of course. Of course. Of course. The next question is, have you met Jesus? Here, there are many names and many ideas of who Jesus is. Jesus typically is a man who died for humans. In the scriptures, people are told, I met the spirit that was that man. Yes, infinity has no definition. It just is. Ah, oh, dear. Divya, what message do you want to give to, to the world? And do you have any wishes left to be fulfilled? No wishes. I am reborn and I experience them. No messages to the world now. I am giving them to you now when I'm answering these questions. These are messages to the world. Okay. Can we decide not to reincarnate? Can we decide here and now that this should be our last birth? No, it is a negotiation with higher powers. Both of your questions are answered by that. Okay. After you passed, do the positive or negative thoughts of you or your death from people on earth affect you now? No. For example, if we thought negatively and thought you died of suicide, would this prevent light helping to lift you up, but instead keeping you in pain or sadness? Never. This never happens. Okay, we're slowly getting to, this is page six of eight. How did you fall pushed? She was pushed. She was not drunk at the time of, um, of that incident. No, just a moment. Did you get drunk during? No, no. I was drinking, but no, I was not drunk. I knew there would be trouble. 
my soul knew I would be gone. Oh. Do the souls of our deceased pets recognize our souls after we pass away? Do the deceased pets or animals try to communicate to us when we are alive? Are there angels to guide animals while the animals are alive and after they pass away as well? Can our pets reincarnate as humans? I miss my beloved canine. Okay. Animals are different from humans. They do not have spirit guides. They can reincarnate as humans to experience that precise experience of living on earth and trying to understand something. Please believe me when I say life is very difficult. People on earth only understand a fraction, a fraction of what life is. Okay. Divya, I wonder if you even, you're even going to come to this sec session because I guess you might have got into another body, but if you are there, uh, how did you die? We answered that. And we also answered being able to um, channel a soul when they are incarnated. I've always loved all your movies. I really missed you. I wish you were alive. And But was your marriage a hoax to get you trapped in order to end your life forever? Yes and no. I made the decision to marry. Yes, I was slightly forced but i will not concentrate on this negative narrative of that event it was part of the story that led to the end of my life not because my husband was involved but because it generated negativity on to me. Do spirits ask for justice? I am laughing now because we never, never, ever ask this. Okay. Why are some people privileged enough to lead a luxurious life whereas some of the others don't get such opportunities? Is it something to do with past life deeds? No, not deeds, but soul vibration rate. Actions are linked to the soul vibration rate, but actions can be cleared and the negative entailment or attachment can be healed. Your soul decides where it wants to incarnate and it's linked to the soul vibration rate. It looks for like vibrational states. Whoa. This is, this is a tough session. I, I, I really didn't understand. I really didn't believe that there were that many questions. I'm going to have to only open a window next time for maybe two days and get fewer questions. So let's go on. Um, did you meet Sri Devi after your death? We answered that at the beginning of this video. Uh, we answered yes in peace and someone did push her off. We did. Did you enjoy your life as a Bollywood actress? Yes, I did immensely. It is and was one of the most beautiful experiences in my life, but it also gave me many things to learn. And at times the learning was difficult for me. 
Okay. Are spirits able to harm humans? How? Why? What can they do? How can they do that? When can they do that? Negative entities are all around. Where there is light, there is darkness. The world lives in balance through the equilibrium of dark and light. Get used to this. Embrace this. And you will understand better how to live in harmony. People who concentrate solely on light and light works and light energies do not find balance. They are first and foremost targeted as humans. They need to protect themselves the most. Drink time. Okay, last page of this. Uh, last page. Is Sajid Nadia Vala involved in your death? No. Page seven. Let's see. Reports suggest you fell off from the kitchen window. The window was used as an auto, uh, had to, used to have an auto stop stopper, but on that day, someone removed it to purposely remove the grill. Did that happen? No. No. Why didn't, why didn't your parents ask for an inquiry? Why is Sad, Sajid Nadiavala so carefree? He there because they were not involved. Like I said, my parents understood. They understood that justice is an illusion because their daughter does not return and they pray. They have found peace this way. What is the most significant learning from your life as Divya Bharti that you will be carrying along in your journey ahead? To speak to people who are different from you, very different. That is the most significant lesson I have learned. Dear Divya, what are your thoughts on Bollywood industry? Any changes coming on how innocent women and men like Sushant Singh Rajput are treated? Yes, my thoughts are that Bollywood needs to exist. Why? because Bollywood creates the illusion of dreams when people really just need to close their eyes and dream. Of course, it is entertainment. We know this. But where there is a lot of money involved, there is trouble. It will always be this way. Innocent, you say, men and women are not as innocent as you think. When you become part of a world and there is energy moving you in one direction, it is very difficult to go in the other direction. Men and women need to understand what they want truly and learn how to read their soul. What would Divya say to Sajid Nadi Vahala? Na, this person, Radia, were you intoxicated on the day of your death? Were you depressed? We answered most of these, yeah. Uh, suffering from depression. What would you say to those who are suffering from depression in the industry? 
leave the industry. There is no other way to get out of a depressed state. Are you with your mom? Please tell us how your mom feels about your father and brother blaming her for your death. No. It is a sin to speak negatively of family members. In my mouth, the word sin is a word from my human life. That answer I would have given from earth. Yes, like all spirits, we are together. My mom, as all other spirits, have peace when passing. They, there is no blame. What is karma? How does it work? Karma, too, is a metaphor, a very powerful metaphor, an extremely powerful metaphor for us to understand that if you do good, good comes to you. This is simplified, but the notion of karma is similar to this. What is the world of st Satan? No. Satan is a, an angel, a dark angel. Satan has no world. Ah. Is Maheshpat your real murderer? Yes and no. He is involved. He did not murder me. He is the mind behind the plan. Oh my God. I please, I feel like fainting. That I I can feel like fainting. I'm going to have to get to page eight. I'll get to page eight because I promised to respond to those questions. Let's see. Um he must be a piece of work, this Mahesh Bhatt. Can you ask, Divya, if someone dies with a lot of dissatisfaction in their heart when they were not happy in their lifetime, do they find peace after death? What is the condition to find peace after death in the spirit world? Because not everyone who dies finds peace and is able to cross over it. Their, their spirit gets stuck. It is... As you suggest, being at peace is one way that you can be more easily rewarded with peace when you pass. You remain in a peri-spiritual space because you are a person who is very tied to a place or other people and have not thought that death is yours then. Trauma will also cause a person to remain, their soul to remain on earth. A traumatic death, fear, also causes this. Okay, last page. Last page. There you go. What is the reason behind getting cancer and suffering due to that? I can say to you, it is a mystery. I would be lying in part. It is and always is negative energy that inhabits the body. I 
assure you, if you harbor negative energy for long periods of time, they can be damaging to your vital state. Take seriously the notion of clearing negativity from your mind and body. Was Salman Khan involved in your death? Was your death a murder? We know that it was a murder. No, no, no. Was she pregnant? She said no already. Was your success the reason for your death? Yes and no. I knew things that I will not tell you now because it is dangerous to mention. But no one knew that I knew except one person. And that person, Mahesh Bhatt, started to turn the wheels of my demise. Oh, God. Oh. Why did you marry out of your religion? It was an idea that I have always lived with. Go close to those who are not close to you. Look for something opposed to you, opposite to you. I fell in love. And you can ask if it was me falling in love or me convincing myself I was in love. Let me ask you, how many of you can honestly say you know the difference? Wow. How to have darshan of Lord Shiva? How can we see him in his real self? You can see him not as his, as you say, real self. There is no real self. You can see him if you look. Every person who looks will see something different. Energy is energy. Energy appears differently to everyone. Wow, last question of this. What was your soul contract and life lesson considering that you died too soon? It was to look for something I was not and move toward an opposite. Learn from things I do not know and are far from my culture. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go in through the chat and, and say hello to everyone. Hoping that I was able to satisfy most of the questions in the chat. Um, let's see. Uh, soulless body, Ravi, Deepika, all of you, all of you, thank you so much for being here. I hope, I truly hope that most of the questions that you have asked or are asking are spin-offs of from these. Write to me under the video and let me know um, what is the most burning thing that you need to know. But remember that they will never give you a name. And a burning question, not that I can answer, but that you are interested in. Once I close the session, 
I will not be channeling her again unless I announce it. If there is more interest and if she comes to me, I will be, there is another um, soul that I will be coming up with. As soon as we leave each other, I will, um, I will put up, uh, announce next Saturday's session for you. It is uh, someone uh, who um, was, has, had come to me after one person mentioned it and then three, four, five other people started mentioning. And it was, it was an energy just coming out wanting to speak. So that, and I can't, it's not, I'm, my brain is going, is fried. I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Namaste, everybody. It was a pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for your support. Namaste. Bye-bye.